Hello everyone. One of the new features in the next release of Karam 3D is the parametric user interface. The parametric user interface consists of four components. The model view, the beam view, the render view, and the shell view. We've up opened up a definition from the test examples in the Karamba plugins folder. You can find um, examples, test examples in the folder UI parametric, you find the shell view. This definition contains a small Karamba 3D setup containing a mesh converted to a shell for different support conditions for the four corner points, a load case, cross section, and the material. Those get assembled and calculated. And here you can see the, one of the new components, the model view. Other than the default model view component, you don't rely on checkboxes and sliders integrated in the component, but you can plug in your own sliders, toggles or value lists, and the functionality stays the same. The same for the shell and the beam view. Here you can see if we change the thickness or utilization of principal stress, the values change and the preview of the shell change. The really new component is the rendered view. With the rendered view, you get bakeable geometry, which represents the symbols of the model. Here you can see different support conditions because the render view component relies on a model it gets the information from within the model so you can control this component with sliders toggles or you can control the model with the model view component as you can see if we deactivate those the value from the model view gets written into the component and it displays the load. Um, you can choose between B reps and curves. Reactions and the loads get split up into branches. For the loads, Gravity is at branch zero, one is point load, two is moment at point load, and three is line load, which helps you split up the geometry if you want to do animations or visualizations or something. As I, as I mentioned, it's bakeable geometry, so you can leave it in the Rhino file if necessary. By default, the parametric user interface is a hidden feature. To activate it and to get this small tab in the Grasshopper window, you have to go to the folder Caramba, to the plugins folder of Caramba, and find the Caramba INI. Open the Caramba INI with a text edit editor of a choice and at line 120 you will find the parameter with parametric user interface. This is by default false. Change this to true and save the file. Restart and reopen um, Rhino and Grasshopper and then you, this small um, parametric user interface tab should appear. If you're interested in the new features, visit our homepage or our git books with the menu and the scripting menu. There is also a description of how to um, get access to the parametric user interface. Thanks for watching.